Assalam alaikum everyone welcome back to my channel this is Dr. Hajra and today I am going to talk about intrauterine device IUD a set of events known as the menstrual cycle occurs to prepare a woman's body for conception these events are controlled by changes in the quantities and in the natural molecules in the blood streams known as hormone these hormones impact the reproductive organs such as the vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tube, and ovaries. The ovaries makes two major hormones, estrogen and progesterone. When estrogen level begins to rise, the normal thick mucus inside the cervix thins. Estrogen stimulates hormones causing one of the ovary to release an egg. This is known as a ovulation. If the woman has the intercourse during this time period, a man's reproductive cells known as sperm can pass through the thinner mucus and fertilize an egg. Estrogen stimulates the uterine lining to thicken, preparing to receive fertilized egg. Progesterone levels rise causing glands in the lining to secrete fluid and feeds the fertilized embryo. Menstruation is caused by a dip in hormone levels which occurs when the uterus sheds its inner tissue lining and blood through the vagina. The intrauterine device IUD is a type of birth control that consists of the soft and flexible T-shaped device with a thin string attached to the end. IUD is classified in two types, hormonal IUDs and copper IUDs. A doctor puts an IUD within a woman's uterus with the string and down inside of her vagina to prevent pregnancy. Both varieties of IUD produce uterine lining irritation which release immune cells and chemicals that can kill sperm. Hormonal IUD also contains levonorgestrel, a synthetic form of progesterone. Levonorgestrel works primarily to prevent pregnancy by thickening the mucus within cervix, preventing sperm accessing the uterus. It is also keeps the uterine lining from thickening which makes receiving a fertilized egg less likely. The doctor may schedule an exam around the month after the pregnancy and an IUD to ensure it is still in place. In addition, the doctor may instruct the woman on how to check her IUD between visits by feeling for the string inside the vagina. Indications Copper releasing IUDs can cause cramping long and heavy menstrual periods and spotting between periods. On the other hand, progesterone releasing IUDs can cause irregular bleeding and spotting for the first few months. An IUD can be left in place for 3 to 10 years depending on the variety. Women can have an IUD removed by their doctor at any moment for any cause including the desire to have children. One of the most successful ways of birth control is an IUD. IUD has a success rate over 99% in preventing conception. This means if a woman who uses an IUD and regularly checks it for proper placement, she will become pregnant less than once every hundred. But if IUD are not monitored for proper placement, they are only around 97% effective. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video.